Live 99.5 FM. Welcome to the Business Report brought to you by Guarantee Trust Bank and ACE Consult. My name is Prince Apia. Coming up, yam seed policy crucial for planting for food and jobs. And government encouraged to utilize digital payment platforms in the agriculture sector. My name is Prince Apia. The details now. Now, the Yam Development Council is advocating a policy on yam seed to enhance production of the crop in the country. Chairman Anthony Zikpa says government's planting for food and jobs as well as other agricultural agenda will benefit from a coordinated plan. He was speaking at the third annual review and planting workshop in Kumasi. But then we champion the coming out with a policy to guide seed, yam seed production because of what we have seen that clean yam seed does to the industry. So the cleaner the seed, the better the quality of yam that you get, the more productive your agricultural output is. So we are proposing to government that look, if it's possible, government should encourage that farmers, uh, when they are starting farms, should go for clean seed, not use their, their own uh, uh, farm, farmers generated seed. That is, the, that is the idea behind, or the thinking, the logic behind the, 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 the framework that we have, we have developed. And so when it is accepted by this meeting, the next move is to sit down with government, who are the owners of policy, to come up with a policy to guide seed production, yam seed production and use in the country. The project which started in 2015 was expected to end in October 2017. However, the sponsoring institution Bill and Belinda Gates Foundation extended the project to June 2018. The three-year project is targeted at improving productivity and quality of work of 3,000 smallholder farmers through innovative interventions. Eight major yam growing communities in Ghana and Nigeria are benefiting from the initiative. Six seed growers were supported last year with 10,000 US dollars. Regional coordinator of the project, Dr. Kinsley Osei, believes yam production in the next three years will improve and export potential and food security would fully be realized. As we speak now, uh, yam production from the demonstrations have doubled since the project began three years ago. And uh, the farmers come out with very clean planting material because of the treatment we give them, because the seed is treated with mancozeb and then with chloeparifos, and then also the soil is treated with neem leaf powder. And uh, this, we are sure, um, is going to improve the general yam production. Productivity is going to go up. And what is most fascinating is the fact that the export trade will be boosted because when you plant your mini sets on ridges, you can get exportable tubers, and which the export trade uh, requires. Regional coordinator of the project, Dr. Kinsley Osei. The government is being encouraged to incorporate digital payment systems for cocoa purchases and other agricultural activities. Farmers have had to travel long distances to receive payment of their produce from purchasing clerks with attendant risks of armed robbery. The National Communications Authority puts mobile phone penetration rate in the country at about 131%. Officials in want of government... Monitoring. Officials want government to leverage on a 2014 research by World Cocoa Foundation on farmer use of mobile money services. The study revealed 80% mobile money awareness among cocoa farmers, 52% have mobile wallets, and 46% have accessed the service before. Director of Farmer Services at Farmerline Company, Shandor Vedubright, says it is time to explore digital payment systems. In terms of even monitoring for the bigger organizations that are working with these uh, community agents, it's difficult for them to track as to whether the money has gone into the farmer who deserves it. We are also talking about time, the time factor. So typically to take a petition clerk who buys cocoa or even an agent who buys from farmers close to like three weeks to pay for a farmer for the goods that he has, he has purchased. 
and because it's all about cash and he has to travel to the place inconveniences and all that if he's using digital payment platforms these kind of payments can be done within a day or two you can track you know transactions and records are always good for improvement Mr. Dubright is positive the deployment will serve as a good financial strength for farmers to assess credit from banks. When farmers use data payment platforms, we can trace their transactional you know, history and their credit history. These are things that credit institutions can use to build the you know, credit score for farmers. And in future, we can use these things to promote you know, credit for farmers. I think that we will know the benefits. The issue left is the boldness and the courage to implement. And I think that government and other stakeholders should work on that. Notwithstanding that transactional cost is a single challenge that are facing the sector. Farmers have to pay access and even in rural areas they have to pay double to get these kind of services. I think government must show leadership. The head director of Pharma Services at Pharma Line Company Limited, Shandor Fedubai. The private developers have defied health and sanitation cautions to put up residential buildings near the Otilan Field site in Kumasi, the buffer zone of the final disposal ground for both solid and liquid waste is under persistent siege by individuals and even churches. City authorities have restrained some developers from completing their buildings and earmarked others for demolition. Now, would you buy a flying car that costs nearly $300,000 or 300,000 pounds. That is what Dutch company PAV has unveiled its flying car at the Geneva Motor Show just yesterday. That's it for the business report. It was brought to you by GT Bank and AC Consult. Guarantee Trust Bank Ghana Limited has concluded a full integration of the RIA Money Transfer Direct to Account Service, which allows senders to remit funds either directly into the bank account of beneficiaries or into their own bank account in Ghana. It is simple. Just provide details of your account held with GT Bank and any other bank, and within a few minutes, your money would be deposited directly into the account. For further inquiries, please call our 24-hour hotlines 0302-966-755 or 0302-677-704 or our toll-free line 0800-124-000. Guarantee Trust Bank would enjoy other bank with us. Now, AC Consult. It is training it training programs for March begins from 20th to 23rd March 2018. Topics to be discussed are improving push pull mobile banking for mobile bankers or Susu collectors, successful selling skills and strategies for sales team, client relationship executives and marketing officials. Then effective report, memorandum and minute writing for project team, administrators, personal assistants and secretaries. Venue is Cicero Hotel, Ahonjo Kumasi, Cicero Hotel, Ahonjo Kumasi and the time is 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. each day. For registration and inquiries, call 0244-588-149 or you can email aceconsult.events at gmail.com aceconsult.events at gmail.com Call personally on the third floor top Martins Complex, Asukwa Kumasi. That's it. My name is Prince Apia. Good morning. I love the way she moves, hey. she grooves, love her shoes, her she smooth, I love her hair, and her teeth, love her nails, and her feet, I love her laugh, and her, her cry, yes, her, her lips, lips. And